Hello there, friend. Hmm. I haven't seen you in quite a long time. What brings you here today? I bet you need something from me, don't you? Oh, you humans are all the same. Always bending to your own will and that of no one else's. No matter. I enjoy nothing more than to be of service to you. So, tell me, what seems to be the trouble today? Hmm? How may I assist you with your human needs? Wishes, desires. Do tell. I'm all ears. <laughs> oh? Trouble with love. That is a pickle. <laughs> oh. Well, unfortunately, no, I, I can't quite say that I do understand, mainly because rejection doesn't quite exist in elf culture the same as it does with humans. No, we've developed tools to work ourselves around that silly old feeling of rejection. What an awful thing to deal with. Would you like to hear our secret? You must promise not to tell anyone, though. It is a very, very ancient tradition, and many of our elven monarchies have been started this way. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important that you keep this between us. Do you solemnly swear on your life you won't tell anyone? Hmm? Alright, that was only slightly convincing, but I'll go for it. <laughs> what have I got to lose, really? I've already been outcasted by most of the elven clan, so it shouldn't really matter too much to me, I suppose, if one or two more of them don't mind my presence. Ever since we can all remember, we've been making a sort of a love potion to help win over the hearts of those that we seek and fancy. Yes, in the dark and quiet hours of the night, we will join together for a ceremony of said love potion, and we will sneak in to the room of the person we would like to fall in love with us, and quietly, very gently, and especially carefully, because the misuse of this potion has some very um, undesirable side effects, to say the least. Yes. We'll go in and take a small vial of the potion and gently drop some into their mouth as they slumber. When they awaken, they're suddenly in love and they're none the wiser of how it occurred. Although some elves have started to develop a suspicion with the increasing knowledge of the potions. Hmm. Nonetheless, when you wake up in heartfelt infatuation for someone you've never looked at like that before, it does strike a chord of curiosity in many elves, and instead of questioning it, they decide usually to pursue and most of the time end up staying together for the rest of their elven lives. It is honestly a very beautiful thing and as I said earlier, many elven monarchies started this way. The potion is very powerful and very, very potent, so we must be very careful not to give it to the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very nerve-wracking thing to think about, so I'm just going to assume that you're responsible, aren't you? Yes? Mm-hmm. Well, good. 
Do you have any questions for me before we get started? It seems like you're interested in the idea of making a potion for your significant other. Well, soon to be, I should say. Even though you're not together quite yet, it will not take very long after the potion has started working its magic. Hmm. Oh, do I need anything from you? <gasps> yes, actually I do. What a great first question. I would have almost forgotten and then the potion would have been mainly useless for you. <laughs> Hopefully you have these things on hand already. I mean, most dedicated lovers will have acquired them over the time that they're trying to pursue the person they'd like to give the potion to. Do you have a strand of their hair by chance? Beautiful. And do you have a strand of your own? Yeah, it can be from when you were a child. It's the same DNA, usually. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Perfect. And I will also need a fleck of your fingernail, as well as theirs. Did you happen to bring that along? Oh, brilliant. And... The last ingredient that I will need from both of you is a scale of skin. This is usually the hardest to acquire because a scale is quite a small thing and, well, if you have more than one, it will ruin the potion. So we only need one singular scale from both of you. Did you bring that? Wow. I will say I am impressed by your preparedness. Oh, certainly. Most humans don't come with much but an untied shoelace, so... Hmm. This is quite a pleasant surprise. Um, we'll go ahead and collect those items from your belongings, and when you're ready, you can place them into my hands. Oh, thank you very much. I'm just going to sprinkle these into my mortar and pestle. Making sure that they're in our mix for later when we put all of the other ingredients in. Before I add them to the potion, though, I would like to explain what they are. I think it's particularly fascinating if you're willing to learn a little bit about the elven magic. <gasps> oh, how delightful. Hmm, what should we start with? Of course. One of my most prized possessions. This vessel contains some prepackaged doses of a variety of herbs and spices that I've gathered from all over the realm, really. Yes, it has been my sheer pleasure to be able to collect them and create different varieties of blends. For different potion purposes, of course. Hmm. This one has a lot of different natural flowers and other plant varieties. It smells wonderful. Would you like to smell? Sure, take a whiff. Isn't it delightful? Hmm. I will be setting a bag of this aside. And... Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Oh, what is this one? It's actually a bit of a funny story. This is a jar of pickled peppers, which doesn't really have much to do with our potion making, but this is a peck of pickled peppers that Peter Piper picked for me, actually. He's such a nice young lad, that Peter. So thoughtful, always giving me pecks of pickled peppers. Mm. They're said to be some of the spiciest in the land, however, and they do have to brine for another 2,000 years, so it will be quite some time until we get to enjoy them, but I'm very excited to consume one. Mm. 
yes. He's quite the craftsman, hmm. I do very much enjoy his packaging and I hope to receive more vessels from him in the future because I do, I do feel like they make a nice addition in my collection. I love glass vessels. In fact, most of these were made by one artisan who I'm not friends with anymore, but I hold them near and dear because of that. The sentiment still stands. Hmm. Good friends come and go, but their memories remain with us forever. It's a very special thing to have a friend. Anyway, this, as I'm sure you can tell by the sheer looks of it, is of course a jar of fairy dust. Although, it's a very coveted jar of fairy dust that I had to work very, very hard to acquire. Hmm. The reason being is it's dust from the turn of the millennium, and not many fairies were producing dust during that time, partially because they were all partying, but um, I don't know if you can tell that there's two different hues of dust in here. The orange-yellow dust is from the fairies of the east. They have a much different diet than, per se, the fairies of the west, the ones who make the cleaner pink and white dust kind of the classic fairy dust everyone is familiar with, but the orange-yellowy one from the East Fairies is also very delectable, and it's got wonderful magical qualities, just like the fairies from the West. I mean, we really shouldn't discriminate as much as we do, but people have their preferences. You know how it goes. Everyone is just so silly with their notions and preconceived judgments about things. Oh, it's quite a hoot to me. I don't really mind very much. I'll take what I can get, and I'm very happy to have this. Mm. I am going to go ahead and mix it up for us, though, before we put it into your potion. I think I'd like you to have a blend of both the East and Western medicines, so... Mm. before I put it back on the shelf. Mm. And last but not least, I have one of my favorite blends and concoctions. Mm. Can you guess what's in here? I know sometimes it's a little difficult to identify this. Ooh. I always forget how putrid it smells. This container is filled with holy water and unicorn droppings, which is what gives it a quite an interesting smell. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm very taken aback by the aroma. I, I know it doesn't affect humans the same way as it does elves, but our superior sense of smell just simply picks up on all of the sour notes. Anyway, unicorn droppings contain plenty, plenty, plenty magic. So, that's why we have some in here today, although it's not as concentrated as batches I've made in the past. Hmm, yes. Well, now that you know all the ingredients, I suppose we could get started with making the potion for you. Hmm. I'm going to grab my mortar and pestle, but it's made out of obsidian, so it's rather heavy, and it might take me a moment. I do struggle quite a bit. I do apologize. Mm. Isn't it beautiful? Mm. I have your hair strands and nail flex and um, scales of skin. How could I? just going to go ahead and take one of my pre-portioned bags of herbs and rip it open so we can utilize the mixture for your potion. Mm. 
beautiful. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in. Mm. And I'm going to grind this up with your hairs and nails and skin, just so everything is nice and mixed. Hmm. Yes, that will do nicely. Would you like to see so far? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. What shall we do next? Perhaps our fairy dust? What do you think? Hmm. <gasps> yes. Um, sure. We can put a decent amount of this in. Oh yes, I did mention that it contains a potent amount of magic, but the potion itself does have a lot as well, so, um, whatever you'd like. In goes the fairy text. Hmm. Perhaps a little more would be in order. Hmm. Fairy dust smells much better than the unicorn droppings, that's for sure. I'm gonna just put this back on the shelf. I like to keep my workshop pretty tidy when I'm making potions and spells and things. Mm. Cleanliness is close to godliness, that's what they say I used to sell. starting to look pretty good, would you like to see? Mm-hmm, very promising. Um, I think we're ready to mix in our holy water and unicorn droppings. However, I'm going to mix them inside of this vessel so we don't have to let the smell escape for too long. Mm. I'm just going to take a pinch or two of our mixture that we've made and put it into here and we'll shake it up and hopefully I've done my proportioning correctly and we'll have you a nice love potion. And perhaps one more. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Now, if I've done this correctly, this should slightly change color, but we'll see. Um, I'm not quite sure what color it's supposed to turn. I just know it's not supposed to be clear anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need a couple more pinches. Let's see. something to put this in. This jar is very important and special to me, so I wouldn't really want to send it home with you. Did you bring a jar of your own? Fantastic! Oh, that's such a relief. Um, Smells so much better now that everything's been mixed. Can I go ahead and pour it in for you? Thank you very much. Here you are. Make sure you take all of it. Of course, you're welcome. Mm. I'll go ahead and wash this out later. 
Oh, well, yeah, it's been a pleasure to help you. Hmm. Is there anything that you wanted to discuss before you go? Oh, well, that's very sweet of you. I always forget that you humans have a celebration of love. You don't show much of it to each other, so sometimes I forget you're even capable of feeling it. <laughs> well, happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Oh, you're the sweetest thing. Hmm. I really do hope that you'll come back and see me more often, and not just when you need something, but in general, for company, I mean like to think that we could eventually be friends, don't you? Well, make sure you don't tell them. Oh, wait. There's one more thing I should add. A bit of a warning or disclosure. I probably should have told you this at the beginning. Um, you remember how I mentioned that this potion has side effects? It won't happen automatically. However, if you do decide to admit to the person that you gave the love potion that you did indeed give them a love potion, it will immediately activate the consequential side effects which will result in you, the giver of the potion, convulsing uncontrollably and eventually um, dying. So. I would recommend keeping it a secret, if you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, out of curiosity, what is your, um, crush or lover's name? Oh. Um, very interesting. Hmm. No, it's, it's nothing. I, um, I think that they were here recently, however. They were looking for a repellent spell to be done. Mm -hmm. What is a repellent spell? Um, it's basically a spell that helps to keep someone away from you at all costs. For the rest of eternity, but I'm sure that they didn't come to make that to use on you. No, I I wouldn't think that that would be the case. Um, a love potion will not counteract a repellent spell, so if you do find this to be ineffective, um, perhaps they've already <laughs> snuck into your room in the middle of the night and dosed you with the repellent spell, but. I really don't think that that is a, a plausible reality, so you, you mustn't worry, okay? I'm sure you'll be fine. And things are going to go so smoothly. Yes, so just make sure that you wait until the, um, the dark hours of the night. It's, it's getting late. I've been watching the sun slowly set as we've been doing this, so the timing is almost correct for you to sneak into their room and drop a few drops of the potion into their slumbering mouth. And when they wake up, you two should be happily ever after living in your love story. Hopefully. Hmm. Well, that's all the advice I can really offer. I mean, I'm not a professional counselor or anything. I'm just a potion maker and a spellbinder, but certainly not a therapist. So you're going to have to go see another specialist for that. <laughs> oh, I do so appreciate you stopping by, though. It's been a pleasure to be with you and have you in my company. Again, please come by more often and not just when you need something, okay? <laughs> mm. Oh, you make me blush. You're the sweetest. Well, um, toodaloo, and be sure to let me know how it goes, okay? Oh, yes, of course, I can teleport you back to where you came from. Um, I'm sorry for zapping you here unannounced, but you were calling out to me pretty strongly, so 
I figured I would answer and see what was going on with you. Hmm. Alright, are you ready to return?